Okay. I think I feel an ambush coming on here. Ah! Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming where we play this game on insane difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we have a hell of a fun time doing it. All right, I am back, you guys, from my business trip to Las Vegas. Um, this is the first time I have played Seven Days to Die since I've been back from my trip. Um, everything that you've seen up until now was pre-recorded before I left, and all that to say... Um, you know, it's been a couple of weeks since I last played, so i got to kind of get my head back in the game uh, here. So, let's see. I'm just trying to kind of figure out where we left off. Um, we got some bullet casings going in there. We got stone going in there. I think these forges are completely filled up with clay. Um, so, I need. looks like I need to do some more iron mining. i got a little bit of iron there, but I, want, I don't want to burn all of that up right at the moment. Uh, these guys are cranking out the uh, fuel because we got a bunch of oil shale in you know a couple episodes ago, and then of course the garden is going. I think I need eight more farm plots um, to finish out the garden. So so we'll still be you know on the lookout for rotten meat as we go along. Looks like my inventory is all set. So I think what we're going to do in this episode is we're going to go uh, do the school quest, the tier four school quest. And, uh, yeah, do that. That'll be our main thing. So, let's see. A couple things uh, with the comments that you guys have left. Um, some of you mentioned that I could have uh, built just, some, you know, more storage crates and then painted them uh, as a sink and a stove. And you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. I could have done that. I, can, I just didn't think about it at the time. And, you know, doing that would have actually been a good idea because then we would have had a lot more storage space. But um, I might even do that at some point. I might... You know, if, if we run out of space in here, if we got, you know, that many jars and cans, which I, I doubt we will, but if we did, uh, then we'll put those in there. Uh, I'm sorry, then we'll uh, create a storage crate, one of these, and just paint it to look like a stove. Yeah, I should have done it in the first place, but I didn't think about it. So, um, let's see, what else do we want to say? We had some discussion in the comments about the, how much the farm plots suck. <laughs> so, all of you guys who have uh, commented on that, I completely agree with you uh, that... I just, I don't see any advantage, or I don't see how these plots are a better way to do gardening than, you know, than the old method where we actually hold the ground. It's not as satisfying, it's more work, it takes more resources to make them, and yeah, it just kind of sucks, but, you know, that's the way it is, and uh, I don't know if it'll ever change, unfortunately. There might, maybe there's some mods out there that bring the old farming back, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so that was in the comments. What else did we there we talk about? Uh, there was some a, a, a thread that going on about some noise uh, from my microphone. And um, the person that left the, the, the comment was telling me that there was like a high-pitched whine. And so, you know, and he said, he said it was on a couple of different videos. And so I, I, I watched those videos and listened very closely and I could never find you know, the wine. And I asked this individual to also send me, uh, you know, where in the video, a couple places in the video, the time code on where it's occurring, which he didn't do. Um, come to find out though, after a couple of you guys on, on the discord helped me out with that, which I really appreciate, uh, what he was hearing was not a wine, but it was, it was just background noise, uh, coming from my noise gate on my microphone. And I believe those two episodes. I actually had my window open that day because it was pretty warm and there was some noise coming from the outside, you know, here in my office. So I think that had a lot to do with it. You couldn't even hear it though, unless you, you know, turn the volume way, way up, way louder than you should be. <laughs> you should be listening to the game. So, okay. So I, there's probably a couple other things to address in the comments if I think about them, but overall, I think that pretty much covers, um, you know, covers uh, mo mo most of the stuff there. So I appreciate everybody's feedback. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos. Um, the build series that I've been doing is way, way more popular than I thought it was going to be. So I really appreciate you guys, you know, watching that. I mean, I'm getting as many views, if not more views on the build series as I am on the regular Let's Play series. Uh, so just appreciate that a whole bunch. And I, I'm really enjoying it. And I'm, I'm very glad that you guys are also enjoying, uh, you know, watching me do the build series too. It's a little more casual. Um, you know, where we're, where we're building and just kind of having fun and hanging out. And, and that's great. So I got to thinking too, um, 
I might go ahead and actually turn this into a, a central path and just take the two least important crops, and I haven't necessarily decided what those are yet, and just combine those into one row because this is, you know, I, I think it will just look better. I mean, even ideally, we could do a pathway around the perimeter, but then we're really starting to cut into, you know, our crop uh, production that way. So probably won't do that, but it would be good to have a central path down here. And if we did that, then we actually have enough crop plots. Oh, that was another thing in the comments too. Um, and, you know, again, I know it, just didn't think about it, but um, I was mentioning how if I misplace a crop plot, we have to destroy it and make a new one. That's actually not true. You can pick them up with the shovel. Uh, I just forgot that. So um, if we go ahead and do that, then let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got exactly the number that we need to finish out those plots. So what do we have grown here? Chrysanthemum? Okay, yeah, you know what? That's we can start those over. It's not going to be a big deal. So let, let's just do this right now and then we'll go then we'll go do the quest. I know I should probably be doing this on the building episode, but we're just going to do it now. So yeah, you do get the crop plots back, which is great. And I'll just fill in um, the pathway here with wood, or maybe we'll even put cobblestone in, or maybe we'll put wood in and paint it to look like cobblestone. Um, one of you guys were mentioning um, you wanted to kind of know the, some of the, the differences that I like, uh, or no, you wanted to know things about building in Seven Days to Die that I'd like to see that aren't currently in the game. Um, one of those things is the uh, another game that I that I uh, play in uh, one of my all-time favorite games is Imperial Galactic Survival. It's very similar in concept uh, to Seven Days to Die, and even in game mechanics in terms of the fact that it's a block-building voxel world type of game. Uh, but of course, it's you know it's space themed, uh, and instead of building you know forts and horde bases, you build ships, and uh, and, and still you know space bases and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, in if you're not familiar with Imperial Galactic Survival. Um, it has one of the things it has is it has what's called a symmetry plane, and what you do is you you turn the symmetry plane on, and then anything that you place on this side is automatically mirrored on the other side. So it's really really useful. You know when I built this house, for example, and of course we're still building it, but I had to place every single block all the way around. Whereas in Imperion, I could have put the symmetry plane down, and then I would would have only had to have built half of it, and then the game would have built the other half for me. Uh, so that's something that would be really fantastic to see uh, here also in Seven Days. Uh, seven Days, however, has the, the um, you know, copy rotation um, uh, setting, um, and that's really useful in this game for building, and I wish that Imperion had, you know, something like that too. So they both, you know, have their, have their strong points and their, and their weaker points. So those are a couple things. If I think of other things like that, I'll, I'll mention them too. Uh, what are we doing? We are looking... Do I have anything in here? No, that's all. I must have gotten all my ducks in a row before I went on my trip. <laughs> um, okay, so... We could just put normal flagstone down. I've got plenty of... Uh, material for that. We need 15 blocks in total. Okay, I think I counted that right. If I didn't, you know, it doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Uh, so let's do um, oh no we need to make cobblestone that's what we need to do alright let's just make a bunch of cobble I mean I'm not going to make 4,000 cobble but we'll let it uh, cook up and I'm just going to remove these I'd, I'd rather n not that paint is, ex is expensive to make by any stretch of the imagination but I'd rather save the paint that I have for when we actually paint the house so you know, we'll just make regular cobble. It's not a big deal. All right, so while that's all going on, um, we need to decide what we're going to cut in half. I'm thinking probably hop seed and maybe maybe blueberries or pumpkins. I'm not saying they're not useful, but I'm just trying to think of what I'm going to use, you know, need the lowest quantities of. Um, so yeah, we could do, we could do hop seed down one row and, or a half a row of hops and a half a row of 
Maybe pumpkins, I guess. I don't know. I mean, you got what? Well, you got the pumpkin cream cheese and then you have pumpkin bread. Do I even have the recipes for those? Uh, okay, so I can make pumpkin bread. Oh, and there's pumpkin pie too. Well, there's okay, so there's three things you can make with that. What about blueberries? You can make blueberry pie, of course. That's the only thing you can make with blueberries, but blueberry pie is pretty good, though. I mean, in terms of its food value and stuff. Um, hops are only going to be used for beer. As far as I know, I don't think you use hops for anything else, which we can't make that yet anyway, but we probably will be able to eventually. Or the other thing I could do is just do two and a half rows of corn and then put the hops, um, you know, on half the row. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll do it that way. And I can, you know, I can always adjust this later. It doesn't, I don't have to get it perfect the first time. It's just not something we have to absolutely do right the first time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the hop seeds over to this third or row of corn, what will be the third row of corn. Whoops. And we're just going to put those in there like so. And we'll just do two and a half rows of corn. And if I decide later that that's not enough corn, then of course we'll adjust. Okay, so that means then we got goldenrod growing here. That's coffee. What's this? Those are blueberries. So yeah, we'll just we can just put the chrysanthemum in here. Okay, cool. Someone's dinging me here. What are we doing? We're making cobblestone in here. I was just playing Imperion yesterday uh, for a few hours or so. I'm hitting the damn F button again when I should be hitting the E button. Okay, so we made six of those. Let's... How many did I say? I think I said we needed 15, right? So let's make another nine. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. And I think I kind of like the flagstone look better than the cobblestone look. So I think we'll leave it uh, that way. You know, another thing I miss is the original cobblestone texture that, you know, the pun pimps had when they first introduced cobblestone in the game. This was a long time ago, way back in alpha. I don't know, 9, 10, 11, something like that. Um, I liked that texture, but of course they took it out. Who can, who can know the mind of the fun pimps, man? Some some of the things they do are like, why in the hell are you doing this? And then other other things they do, other changes they make are, are, are great, you know? So, here's what it is, right? Here's what it is. Okay, yeah, I like this better. I feel better about this, you know, having the path down the middle. Okay. So, we need to get going on our quest. What? <laughs> this is going to this is gonna turn out to be a building episode if I don't get my ass in gear, right? Um, so... Let's see. We're doing okay on food. Let's grab something to drink here really quick. Oh, good lord. Stupid phone is just driving me nuts. Oh. <laughs> Jeez, I already had cobble made. Oh, well, whatever. Oh, man. Remember, I'm trying to get my head back in the game here, guys. It's been two weeks. It's been two weeks. I actually got back on Tuesday, but... Um, you know, because I had pre-recorded those episodes, I, I was a little ahead, so I figured I'd give myself a little bit of me time. And, um... You know, let the let the episodes catch up before I started again. I've been been playing um, uh, Total War uh, Warhammer Two. Um, I played that with my son on Friday nights, but I, I started my own campaign too, just to kind of relax and actually play without having to record and stuff. You know, I mean, obviously I love recording; I wouldn't be doing it. But sometimes it's nice to just chill and play. You know, just play alone and, and enjoy the game and not have to worry about recording and that sort of thing. Uh, but anyway, we are back in ready to go so let's hit this school the good thing about the school is that it's very close it's uh, just right down in the town there so it's only 304 meters away let's make that the active quest and uh... oh you guys also another thing about the comments uh, you guys told me that that lumber yard that we found um, is a tier three um, so I'd like to go check that out you know not not to do it necessarily a quest there but just to check it out and see you know what it's all about there it is, right down there. I mean, it's damn near in our backyard, or front yard, depending upon how you look at it, right? All right, I've only been through this POI once. 
Edgar! I missed you, Edgar. I'll bet you didn't miss me, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I've only been through this POI one time, so I'm not real, real familiar with it. I remember it was pretty fun, though. So, let's do it. You know, another thing I miss about old Seven Days to Die is we used to be able to harvest zombos. Um, you know, for rotten meat. Of course, back then we didn't need the... Well, I think we used rotten meat for fertilizer back then, now that I think about it. But fertilizer was optional. You didn't have to do it. Um, if you did it, you know, you'd get a little bit better yield, but it wasn't forced on you like the crop lots are. Okay, the double loot, if I remember right, is just here in the gymnasium. So let, let's go ahead and grab it. I think we're going to have to just bust through the wall here, which isn't a big deal. We can do that. Sorry about the, that I keep getting interrupted, guys. I'm, I'm actually trying to whip this uh, video out uh, over my, um, my lunch hour, even though it's actually later in the afternoon. Um, but I got stuff going on at work that I have to respond to, so that's what's going on with that. Oh, we just happened to cut into where, <laughs> where the support pillars were. How funny. Okay, so we got Zikaruski's up in the the girders here. There's a, a bike, two bikers, and an Edgar. We got a military guy there. Okay, so that's enough dudes that we should probably get a little bit of blockage going here. Okay, let's put our uh, luckies on. Let's see what we got. Oh, nice. A little AK action there. Crack a book. What's this one? Uh, you're nothing special. Oh, I guess we've already read that. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we can hang on to it and maybe do it again later. We probably won't, but you never know. We know all of that stuff, so we'll end up selling it. And I guess that's it, right? Except for the big chest. Okay, is this locked? It sure enough is. All right, let's uh, open it up. There we go. Got it on the first try. All righty. Decent stuff. Okay, let's do this. What is this? This is a clear and retrieve. Got business guy there. Down with the sickness. All right, let's go ahead and buy. Oh, we need mula. Well, I didn't need to buy, buy jailbreaker start. Oh well, we got him now. We'll use him when we open the big chest at the end. Anybody in here? Nobody's in here. We've got some grain alcohol. That's always good. Uh, we'll take that. I'm not going to mess with lead. Nobody in here. We do have a backpack, though. Take both of those things. Oh, and a pillbox. I'll take all that stuff. Oh, so this must be like the, the infirmary, the nurse's office. Do we look behind here? We did now. Okay, so let's see. Do we go through here or do we go the other way? I can't remember. guess we're going through here. Got a big old hole in the ceiling there. Ah, there we go. Uh, all right, let's put these back on. Some bow parts. 
just goes outside. So that just goes to the end of the hallway. What's out here? That goes outside too, okay. Doesn't look like that's high enough for standing Zikaroos to be up there to jump on her head. Possibly crawlers, though. Oh, shit! <laughs> okay. Okay, we came through here. I got a little disoriented there for a second. So we already came this way. Um, those guys did jump down from the roof, didn't they? There's nobody in here. We did get somebody else's attention, though. Edgar! Oh, look at him dodge, man. Oh, shit. I am out of practice, you guys. <laughs> I'm so out of practice. My fingers are not hitting the right buttons here. We should have grabbed our shotgun, not our, our attack rifle. So three is a shotgun, five is the uh, M6, M60. I've got to, got to retrain myself here. Okay, let's see. We're going to... Actually, I'm just going to leave the the paint on there for now, or the dye. Uh, we don't want that. We don't want those. Uh, let's grab this here. Uh, I think, do we need new Yakuza? I can't remember if we do or not. I don't think we do. I think I made enough, but we'll grab it anyway. What the hell? <laughs> Don't care about that. That's all that's in here, huh? Okay. Nobody in there. Nice purple leggings. We'll get a little bit of cash for that, especially if we can put some... Um, some mods on it before we sell it. That'll bring some money once we fix it up. A little brass action. Okay, did we check everything else? That's the lead that we didn't want. I don't know why I'm picking up cooking pots. Don't want them, don't need them. Okay, we should probably... Run back outside. Uh, I vaguely remember this room. Those are not worth selling. They give more cold resists, but... Oh, we're just going to scrap them. Okay, let's go back out to the 4x and just unload before we proceed. Satchel's up above there. What? What? Where? Where? Are they up on the the roof? Okay, we got a library.
with about 95% of the shelves empty. We already know that. We already know that. We don't know that. Okay. Learn something new. Here we go around this way, and we fall down. <laughs> Whoa, don't fall down there. Let's try that again. Okay, we get up here, we go over here. There. Okay, I think we're going to have... Buzzards greet us up here, if I recall correctly. I don't care about those guys yet. I just don't want any buzzards coming down on me. Oh, we got that buzzard. There another one? I see three red dots, but no additional buzzards. Okay, that takes care of all the baddies in this immediate vicinity. Going back down here. It's not likely we're going to need the shovel whilst we're up here. Hopefully, we get a brass radiator from this. We did. I don't think you can get brass radiators from these flat ones. I don't remember ever getting one from those. You get, you know, other stuff, but not, uh, uh, not the radiators. Okay, we're supposed to go that way, but before we do, let's make sure we've checked everything. Got a radiator from that. That's good. Anything else over here? Nope. Okay. Six feathers. That's it? There's nothing else in here? Am I in? Okay. Jump down onto this. Get out of my face! Jeez. See, the Duckbill mod... It's kind of a pain in the ass um, went up close, but man, it is absolutely golden for a Horde Knight. It will, with my particular base design anyway. Either that or I just have Potato Aim. You guys decide for yourselves. A little health um, uh, hat mod thingamadoodle. Let's take one of these because we did get thumped a little bit there. Oh, yeah, we came up that way earlier. I see three dots.
I recall correctly, I think we get a decent amount of paper from these pallet things. Yeah, thir or, well, 39 XP, 25 paper. You don't get a bunch from these. Get a little plastic from those, though. Okay, we'll take that stuff. We don't need one of those. And I don't want the scrap iron, so it stays. Definitely take the sham shamity sham. And the kitty food. Oh, look at that, you guys. Sham chowder recipe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the game gave us some sham and then the recipe. That's fan freaking tastic. Fan freaking tastic. I don't know why I kept that can. Let's get rid of that stuff, too. Oh, awesome. Okay. Uh, I, and I have been saving the sham, too. We've probably got two and a half stacks or so of it. So, you know, once the garden's in full swing, we're going to be able to make sham chowder, which is some of the best food in the game. Happy about that. Okay, let's see. Our satchel's on this floor, and it's right over there. There it is, right in the corner. Another vending machine. What do these do again? Oh, yeah, that's just for if you use the worthless frickin' uh, shock baton thing. I just don't like that thing. Never have liked it. Other people that I've talked to that have used it, I uh, haven't been super impressed with it either, so... Uh, we'll leave that on there for now, so it doesn't take up another slot. Oh, shit! Son of a bitch, man! It was like, dropped right on my head. Scared the hell out of me. Are you gonna are you gonna move or are you just gonna sit there and burn to death? There you go. <laughs> I couldn't tell what he he wasn't moving. It's like what? What's the deal, man? Oh yeah, that uh, that scared me a little bit. That absolutely scared me a little bit. Startled startled scared. Oh, we were already in here, weren't we? We'll grab those for the cloth and the paint. This is the shop class. All right, we're going to have space troubles here. So um, here's what we're going to do. We're going to grab the black die. Actually, I want to keep the black die. Um, so let's scrap that. Let's chuck the pipes. We don't need the pipes. I just need room to put some stuff for a second here. Okay, we'll scrap this. And then we'll pull the red die off of here. And we'll scrap that. And then we can just scrap these two guys. We haven't even found the snow biome yet in this world. I don't know where it's at. Let's drink this. It'll free up another slot for us. And, uh, okay. Now I think we have enough room to take this thing apart. Sure, I'll take lock picks. I think we're done in here. Okay, let's do the same thing. Nice puffer coat. Oh, 
Oh, come on. Why the hell can't we stack die? That's just the dumbest thing. <laughs> it's like, doesn't make sense. Uh, okay, we're going to scrap this. And we'll scrap that. You got to wonder what the thought process is of game developers. Uh, you know what? I'm going to get rid of that, too. When they when they're you know doing things like you know what what can stack and what can't and what's the rationale behind it you know I mean why should an engine not stack with another engine but paint can for example it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense because if I had you know like a Briggs and Stratton engine in my pocket. I wouldn't expect to be able to put two Briggs and Stra Stratton engines in my pocket and have them both take up the same amount of space, uh, or both of them together take up one space. I'm not making much sense, am I? But neither could I do that with two cans of paint, though, either. <laughs> so it's just like, it doesn't make sense. Okay, I think, I feel an ambush coming on here. Ah! Hold still. Easy? You don't need the arm. You already don't have legs. You don't need arms here. Shit! <laughs> okay. Let's take that to bring our abrasion down. We got infectinated, but we don't have any honey with us, but we should be able to get back to the base and deal with that before it's too late. Uh, well, we have normal antibiotics too, so honestly, I'm not worried about it. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Do I have rotten meat? I do. All right, let's harvest all these corpses. That's going to get us some more stuff. Oh, wait, I guess we don't need any more crop plots. We're done with crop plots. What am I thinking? Screw that. Don't need it for anything else, unless we... Can we make hobo stew? We can't. Yeah, you know what? I'm not hanging on to that shit anymore. If we need it for hobo stew later, if we find the recipe, then we'll start grabbing it again, but it's just not important right now. We have got to empty, empty out our inventory. Of course, you know, we'll still get bones and stuff, too. All right, insulation mod. Didn't we already find one of those? Here, let's do this. Let's get back to the 4x4 four four so we can offload here. Okay. We're back in business here. We already know the veggie stew recipe. We're gonna be eating good here pretty soon, guys. Eating good pretty good. Uh, yeah, eating good pretty good. Pretty soon. Okay, we'll take that stuff. Can't go that way. Um, I suppose we could harvest these guys for the for the bones. Not that I need glue. I think I have I don't know how much glue I have. Lots. <laughs> But I'll get them for the bones. We don't need the nitrate because we get that from mining. Chuck that and chuck that and scrap those. Nope, don't care about that. Hobo stew recipe. <laughs> Wow. I, th I think the universe is trying to tell me something. All right, where's all that rotten meat at? Rotten flesh. We need potatoes, corn, fat, and rotting flesh. Oh, man, that stuff has got to just taste something terrible. But it's good food, though, in terms of the game. Oh, we need to pay attention here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <clears throat> Yeah. 
No toilet pistols. Another purple pipe wrench. Ooh, look at all those glowing bastards up there. That's just a normal. We'll leave that for now. Showers. Two gunpowder. Call his jacket. That sounds like a wandering horde. I don't think that a wandering horde detects me so let's just chill here for a minute let them go on by because I don't want to engage them as well as all the nasties here in the gymnasium let's close that door Fort Bites I wonder if I could aggro them on the other side of the bars in the hallway there and have them not come this way. I don't know. I don't know if I want to chance that. We just need to hold them up long enough so I can shoot their head off. I mean, that's all we need to do. It's easy. Um, all right, are we ready to do this? I think we're going to probably want to use M60. Look at all that nastiness up there. Wish I had a rocket launcher right about now. Um, I don't think there's anything we can do with explosives. So, that door's locked. All right, well, let's do it. I think we got the attention of everybody outside. Yay. Off with your head. Off with your knee. Off with your knee. Come here, fatso. Okay, so I think we took care of everybody in the gym, right? Oh, that's nice. What else did we just pull in there? Oh, the fittings. Okay, cool. There they are. Okay. Hi, guys. Just you three, that's it? Okay. Yeah, I wonder if, if they would, if you aggroed them from here, 
if they would still path around to come and get you. I don't know. We might have to experiment with that sometimes to see what happens. Okay, so we've got our luckies on. I mean, yeah, we got our luckies on already. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. We'll hang on to everything else. Okay, let's check the boxes. Shoddy Messiah. Compound bow, but um, we're just going to scrap it for the parts. We already know that. Whoops. Okay, do some more damage to humans. Yeah, that's going to be helpful. <laughs> uh, let's do the this, the this, this the. Um, probably going to check those, but let's just wait and see what our space is first. All right, so we took, um, we took a, whatchamacallit, you know, the, um, whoops, sorry, wrong button. The, you know, the one that helps us have 100% lock taking chance, safe cracker, is that what it's called? I never can remember. Uh, but that, we left it in the car, so let's go back and get it, and then I can drop a few things off anyway. Okay. Jailbreakers, that's what it's called. And that's what we get. Okay. This we're going to scrap for military armor parts. Bulletproof glass, right? Break down the door, stripper. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, man, I can't take me anywhere, you guys. I just can't. I try, but I can't. All right, let's do our turn in. We got another stripper right here. Ooh, she just, she just kind of like zipped that way right at the last minute. But fortunately, my hammer caught her anyways. Okay, let's do our turn in. Uh, actually, I have two turn ins to do. I don't know if I'll have time to get to the other one. Greeting, stranger. Here you go, friend. Nice, Whatever a blue forty-four need, magnum. Just Damn. Say the word. Uh, that's definitely the one we're gonna take. Let's just do another job from you. Uh, west, fetch and clear. I'm in that is the clothing store. We've already Can done that me? one. Let's okay. look at his. Man, I wish we could else. go back without having to reopen the damn menu every time. Uh, okay, so this fetch Can and clear is waterworks. No, thank you. Well, that's a shame. Have a safe journey. This one can is waterworks. No, thank you. Come on, you can do it, please. That's the clothing store. Uh, I think it was right. I like you, friend. Yeah. I've got work for. Come on, you can do it, please. What about I've this one? A job for some Household Victorian. Talents. Okay, yeah, we'll do that one. God bless you and good luck. I don't think we already had that one, did we? That's the church. That's... Oh, we got another school? Oh, I must have taken two. All right, well, the second one I'll probably do, as usual, a speed run in it, or, I don't know, maybe even just do it off camera, but show you the loot at the end kind of thing. Uh, okay, so we have school and we have church. Where is this other turn-in at? Two kilometers out. So that's going to be... Uh, show on map. Oh, okay, that's that's back in our original town. That's not too terribly far away. So I'll see you guys over there for that turn, and then we'll wrap up the episode. All right. What's your story? What Incredible. you got for us? Ooh. Oh, 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 nice. Very Here's nice. Um. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna come in super handy, guys, when we do our uh, stealth build. That's perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right, what jobs do you have? Can you do something for me? No, nope, I don't want the school. Damn it, who am I going to get to do this for? You need work. 
No, I don't want to do the... I mean, the clothing store is a good one to do, for sure, because Dear it's God. pretty fast, but... I'm going to have to ask you to leave. As a YouTuber trying to make interesting videos for you guys... <laughs> Son sure. of a bitch, man. Um, all right, well... Are you out of your mind? I'm just going to take the clothing you store and speedrun it or just do it off camera and show you what we get services. at the end. We don't have a lot of choices, unfortunately. Um... Let's get stuff from here. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap up the episode now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. Um, and I'm going to probably do some mining. I want the two health bars, too. So let's... Uh... Let's get rid of these, I guess. I gotta get back to the base and take some antibiotics too because we're over the 5% mark, so honey's not gonna work. Uh, anyway, um, not sure if the next episode will be a casual construction or if we'll do another let's play. We'll have a normal let's play. We'll have to see. But one thing I do need to do is I do need to do some biting. Um, I'd stop and do it now, except for the fact that I don't really have um, all my mining stuff. Well, actually, mining by mining stuff, I mostly mean coffee. We only have one thing of coffee, yeah. I'm going to go back home, drop all this stuff off, get the inventory organized, and then, you know, grab a stack of coffee, and then I'm going to probably come back down here and mine. But I probably won't do that on camera, even for the casual series. Or if I do, it'll just be, like, on the tail end. So, um, we can check this. not going to do us any good now. Oh, we needed to compare these two axes. This is our current axe. Holy crap, look, that one's way better. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we're going to switch those out, too. No, honey. That's probably a good thing, because we didn't have room for it anyway. It would have fallen on the ground. All right, guys, that's it for this episode. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.